Oh yeah, the wind finally picked up. She's uh, doing nice. Well, Jim's got the other one at the house. We painted this one with the yellow on the outside, red on the inside. The shaft had a reverse thread, so the reverse thread we ground a notch into, and the shaft on the inside was a little bit bigger than what the threaded part was, so I drilled uh, the bigger part first halfway through the prop, and then I drilled the smaller one, the a little smaller than what the threads were, we reverse threaded this thing. And we, before, after we got it threaded, we took it off, painted it up real good, put a whole bunch of JB Weld inside there. Matter of fact, that shape is all JB Weld and the tip of the deal and the washer. And then we repainted it some more. This bolt here is just in there for a counterbalance to the one that we ground into the shaft. You can see into the shaft a little bit. There's a little bit of a dent in there. I took an angle grinder and ground the slots. Now we have a lock bolt. It was just long enough to go in there and leave that much hanging out. So now we got it all set up. This is the twin to that orange one. And just got it kind of clamped on this pedestal here. Nice tail. We might do something about that. Anyway, huh? There's Jim. <laughs> and the wind has not been doing anything. They said 15, 20 mile an hour winds. The wind just picked up. So the paint on the prop is going to do real nice and dry pretty quick now that we got a little ventilation. About 30 minutes we'll be able to do something with it rather than an hour and a half. Well, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Oh, yeah. Let's see what the wind turbine's kicking in. Yeah, she's doing about, should be doing more than that. Let's tap this thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I saw it go up right around five or six amps. <laughs> Early when the wind first picked up, she was kicking about eight, so she's doing pretty good. I've got the inverter on and lights, keeping the uh, voltage here down. Oh, yeah. I've had the inverter on there. That brought it down a little bit. Kick that back off and watch the voltage climb up here for a second. 12.89, 12.9, 9.1, Oh yeah, she's picking up kind of quick. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. There we go. Nice, beautiful shine all the way up and down. Decent wood. I tried to find the ones I, I rounded those ones real nice. These are going to be real quiet. Uh, tried to find wood with the least amount of knots. They should. They thought I was nuts down there at Home Beach Depot, unstacking almost the whole stack to find decent wood. Oh yeah, and it balances sweet. Look at that. Just wanted to show you. So anyway, I got four of those set up. They're four bladed props each. Not too sure. Ugh, sorry about the camera work here. And let me turn this light so we can see this one. This is the one that the, one of the first ones I did. I salvaged it. Did a lot of work on her. And she's real sweet. Haven't rounded the ends yet. Got a nice Venturi curve on the end. Pretty sweet. Sorry about the lighting. It just kind of wished I had a camera that picked up light a lot better. There's the other Venturi curve sweet job and so far unless I just scratched it now it's not a nick or a scratch or a bad sanding mark in the whole thing quite happy about this and over here on the bench we got one from Cluggy 619 uh, whoop, there goes the charge controller again looking good that means my, even with the lights that I'm using I'm still gaining in voltage again so I'm quite happy with that this one, uh, something uh, with the back end of the tape drive motor broke, and this prop here came off, hit his roof and broke. I'm sorry, I'm standing in part of the light. And so we uh, took some Gorilla Glue, filled the crack, and closed it up, painted it, stuck it back up there again, and uh, then we had another problem. So now we're taking it back down. We will get back to uh, 
showing both the tape drive motors kicking at the same time and the good voltage I mean good voltage and amps coming out he used power all night one night the first night that he stuck them both up there and in the morning he still had a good 12 volts to play with and I was real happy about that anyway I'm Scott Brown green wind and other home energies many good things to you and yours and there it goes again I barely got the camera off and come back so the wind's probably kicking pretty good Oop, and goes back off There in that crack I can see light from that uh, dump load light bulb I got. I really need more dump load. Uh, anyway, at least I got some uh, night lighting here. Oh yeah. Those are all lawn lamps. Holes drilled in the 2x4 sitting above the shop. There will be a sign right there. I don't know if we can see the wind turbine. Guess not. Anyway, many good things to you and yours. It's going to be 25 degrees tonight. I'm not very happy. I'm going home. Hasta luego. Many good things to you and yours. Thank you.